Hello, welcome to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host, Iggy. Welcome back, guys. This is the final video in my series about Galoob's action fleet. And this is the third video that I'm filming of this particular subject because instead of action fleet, I kept calling it star fleet. And I thought that might really <laughs> sort of bother some of you that I'm calling Star Wars star fleet. Um, I like both, but there I know that some people are um, rather partisan when they uh, are referring to Star Trek or Star Wars. But uh, this is the last video. Uh, and it's kind of crowded, but you can tell by this just this video that um, if I tried to show you this with the other ones all together, it would have been a jumbled mess. And so I decided to put it into segments. And this is the final one. So let's uh, go through it uh, quickly and show you what we have. Now, we discussed uh, Galoob in previous videos. So we don't need to uh, get into that. Uh, this one is a cloud car or a twin pod car. And this is from uh, Bespin or Cloud City. And they escort the Millennium Falcon to the uh, dock platform. Looks like a pair of mini subs uh, put together, doesn't it? I wonder if that's what inspired it. Huh. Never thought of that before. The next one is a flying iron, and this is Slave One. This is Boba Fett's ship. And when it's in flight, it actually turns this way and flies. And uh, back here is the the ramp that they carried up uh, Han in carbonite. And they put him inside the uh, Slave One so that uh, Boba Fett could take him back to see Jabba the Hutt. Okay, now this is the skiff that they uh, use to uh, tie up Chewie and Han Solo. And uh, they had Luke, and they were going to make him walk the plank into the Sarlacc, Sarlacc, Sarlacc pit. Okay, our next one up is a Y-Wing fighter. This is from Return of the Jedi. What's nice about these vehicles is they all came with a stand that said Star Wars, and it would lift up the vehicle like this, but it also has landing gear that you can <coughs> put up and down there. See that? <coughs> Pardon me, I'm sorry. If I could edit these things, I would take that out for you. And there's the landing gear. This is a Y-wing. These wings open up, by the way, but if you do that, you can't set it up on the table like that. But they do open. And this one here is called, a, I think is a B-wing. And it's kind of a weird shaped vehicle, as you can see. I think it's supposed to fly like this. Like this, maybe. It's a weird looking thing. This is from Return of the Jedi also. It doesn't have any landing gear. So this one, you'd probably be forced to use the stand that they come with. Uh, next up is the A-Wing, and that also is featured in Return of the Jedi. And then lastly, we have a snow speeder, and we saw that in The Empire Strikes Back, uh, the defense of Echo Base on the ice planet Hoth. 
and why they have a harpoon launch. I, I don't I don't recall any whales being around on Hoth that they would need a harpoon launcher. <laughs> anyway. I guess you're not supposed to ask questions like that. All right, guys, this is the final video. I want to thank you for coming along with, for the ride. And I appreciate you, those of you who subscribed. And I do apologize to all of the, those who quit me uh, because of my tedious stories. Uh I probably shouldn't have done that, but once I started, then I was kind of stuck into a routine. And uh, so there are some people that enjoy the stories, not many, but there's a few. And they probably would have missed uh, if I had just suddenly got really quiet and they would think something was wrong. Uh, for many of you, the stories were an irritant and a reason not to subscribe. So for those reasons, I apologize. But I do appreciate those of you who stuck it out with me. I, I really do. There's not many of you, but you're hardcore uh, fans of uh, Iggy's Toy Parade. And I, I really do appreciate that. And it kind of makes up for the fact that uh, I guess I have like 10,000, 11,000 views or something like crazy like that and uh, 600 subscribers. So that's not even 1%, I don't think. Anyway, it's uh, this is not a money maker by any means, but uh, I do appreciate you coming along. I, I think I still have some uh play sets by Galoob to share with you. I may not show some of the uh play sets uh cuz I would have to assemble them and they're all in a mess right now. So uh but I do have these like I don't know, they're like heads. It's hard to explain. Do I have one handy? Is there one over here? All right, hold on guys. Get one of these out. No. No. Oh dear. I should have planned this out better. I can't see what I'm doing. All right, here we go. I found one. Okay. They look like uh, different characters from the movies, but you open them up and they're a play set. Let me see if I can open one up for you. I, I can't seem to do it one-handed here, guys. Anyway, this opens up, and here, hold on a second. <laughs> I may not do a video on this because I can't open it. I'll, I'll show the half of it is missing, so I'll show you what it, some. In this case, it's going to be, you know, where uh, Luke is thrown through the, the window. Uh, that's that's what this playset's going to be. But what does this do? Nothing. All right. I, I don't know how it opens. I can see hinges here. Oh, well. So I got several of those to share with you. And then the play sets. Let's see. Do I have one of those here? Well, like, here's the Hoth play set. 
and all the pieces have fallen off, and uh, Jesus, a mess. So that's typical of some of the play sets. Anyway, that's all I got for you this time, guys. Uh, we're reaching the end now of this long road. I began this journey in September of 2021, I think it was. And uh, I made about six videos, and then I quit for a long period of time. Uh, I was in the hospital, and so... Um, it was pretty bad, so I didn't uh, do any videos for a long time. And then I started going to my storage space and raiding it and taking out stuff. I couldn't find everything, though. There's th certain things I'm still missing, like Forces of Valor, 8th uh, Army figures, and uh, German troops, and Americans, Forces of Valor in 132 scale i'm missing a whole box of civil war soldiers I have no idea what's happened to any of that stuff i think there's a another box in storage that has lord of the rings i would you guys would you be interested in lord of the rings i i have all the army man style lord of the rings figures with catapults and battering rams and siege towers i have quite a Quite a bit of it. It's enough to fill up a whole box anyway. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm not sure how much is left to do, but we're, we're pretty close to the end now. And then, of course, I will come back to you again when I get the uh, after Christmas. Maybe we'll do a Christmas unwrapping. My brother always sends me some really cool stuff for Christmas. And then after that, I, I guess I'm done. And uh, like I said, I want to thank those of you who stuck it out with me. Uh, I appreciate it very much. And I hope things are going well for you guys, uh, that you're enjoying your collections, or maybe you rebooted your collection or restarted it. Uh, took it out of storage to appreciate it once more. Um, I hope that these videos inspired you to do things like that. Uh, it is fun. I've enjoyed it. And uh, except for a few bloopers that I wish I could do over again. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks a lot, guys. I really do mean it. Take care now. Good night.